Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, another viewer question about the graphics performance and um, Windows 10, Windows 11, but also um, another question uh, from this viewer about DirectX. Um, is it um, true that Windows 10 doesn't have the same DirectX as Windows 11 and what's the difference between uh, DirectX 11 and 12? So first of all, if you want to know what version of DirectX you have, it's very simple. Go in the uh, search box and type DXDIAG, which is DX Diagnostics. DX Diagnostics will tell you that you have a certain version of DirectX. So the diagnostics tool is here. The DirectX version is at the bottom of the list in the first page of this uh, test. It says here DirectX 12 on my PC. You can do the same on Windows 10. And uh, basically, pretty much everybody is on the DirectX 12. This has been the standard both on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I've seen some people say, well, you know, the version on Windows 10 is not the same. Yes, it is. It's exactly DirectX 12. So for gamers, you are using DirectX 12 on both Windows 10 and 11. Now, is there a difference in performance in gaming in Windows 11 and Windows 10? Uh, yes, there are, as Windows 11 has been optimized a little more for gaming. So um, that's why you can see on Steam a lot of users going to Windows 11. Uh, there is a proven uh, frame rate increase most of the time in Windows 11 for games. Now, for the DirectX version between 11 and 12, it's important to be at 12. 12 changes a lot of things in the way that games are handling the, um, the, the, the screen. So your graphics adapter on a um, DirectX 12 actually is used a lot more and it's used in much better, more much improved performance. So when they have to render something that's moving on the screen, whatever it is, uh, one of the things that's important is that, of course, your graphics processor needs to be used as much as it can be, uh, especially when you have a dedicated graphics adapter. It's even more interesting because it speeds up everything. So um, if you have, for example, I got a, a GeForce GTX here, uh, 1660. If you are on DirectX 12, which you probably are anyways, um, there's uh, multiple rendering going on with the graphics adapter. The CPU doesn't work as well as much. I've seen people think that because their processor is not used much when playing games, it's a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. It's not the CPU that you want to use while gaming. It's slower than the GPU. You want to have the GPU being used or the graphics processor used maximum. So when I play a game, for example, my GPU might be maxed at 100% usage, but my CPU might be only at 5 or 10% usage. Uh, on DirectX 11, CPU was actually used a lot more because part of the way it was sending information, it would send control and it would send code on how to handle graphics to the GPU, where DirectX 12 actually sends it directly to the GPU. And also, it has a better way of using multiple cores on machines. So there's a lot of advantages in DirectX 12. And actually, on any machine that has a um, dedicated graphics GPU, if you would be using a... Um, if you be looking, say, at a game, the same game on the same machine with DirectX 11 and 12, you'd see that there's a difference in the display. You'd see that DirectX 12 games are much more refined, have better color, and have better um, resolution, basically. So there is a difference between both, and DirectX 12 really, really made a big difference uh, in gaming performance. So um, if you want to check your diagnostics tool, di 
D X D I A G. Um, this is D X D A G. And, uh, you, of course, you got several pages of things that it checks out when you actually uh, want to run it on your PC. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.